Hello everyone, it's me ASM Arif welcoming you to my new logo design tutorials and today I'll show you the photography logo design with a script font. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. I already downloaded the font which is really cool and that is the script type handwritten font and I'll provide you that font download link in my video description. Before that, I'll show you how to make this type of creative photography logo for you guys. So let's start at first i'm going to the file and taking new one so from here i'm taking an artboard which is 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel and you can take cmyk or rgb whichever you do prefer and after that giving the name after that here the resolution 300 ppi pixel per inch and the preview mode default and all the settings is as it is and hit the create button you are getting new artboard in illustrator i'm working in illustrator 2021 all the illustrator is similar to this process don't worry about that it could be the interface change in the earlier version uh, to the latest version i'll just ensuring you that that is all the same how i took the artboard after that going to the text and retain some name over here so demo text come up over here and the font size increased I'm giving here 100 okay that's cool and now i'll change up the font types so i downloaded here unita and like that okay fine and that is the font before using the font i'll suggest you to uh, explore that font as fast just because of how the a how the b or how the letters are and the special cases if there is any glyphix over there Glyphic means the uh, higher case or lower case you are getting the extra line uh, in a front or the back side that is the glyphic or the special cases or special character which could be the uh, underline which could be the uh, like signature extra lines over there okay fine and uh, after exploring the letters suppose your name or you want to make a logo which is name is the Kumar so how will be that logo suppose kumar or it could be the rahul or it could be the tommy so you can explore all the you know, like uh, letters and uh, how will be suppose uh, how look like my name <laughs> not cool actually so you can take the logo like uh, what i have just written pankaj okay pankaj now you have to make it create outline that means it's no longer font now after making it uh, like create outline this is the vector one after making it like uh, create outline right press and ungroup then selecting all the stuffs and taking it here okay and now making it group now here i am missing here a line which is really good like this this line so how i just made this line just written something lorem ipsum and giving the backslash or the front slash okay after getting that i'm just increasing the font size like uh, 185 that's fine and now right press and create outline now i'll make it like rotate like this and then i'll place over here okay that's cool and now i'll uh, just missing here a uh, uh, shape which is um, uh, like uh, it could be the square shape it could be the uh, like hexagon octagon the circle whatever it is but uh, i will prefer you or in this uh, my case i'm using here the round you can use any kind of shape over here from here i mean using the ellipse tool and making the ellipse size like that and turning off the fill color from here and giving some stroke i'm making it a little bit like that and here from uniform you can make it like that easily and it could be more like this okay that's good and now i just written over here uh, like uh, in frame or photography or photo whatever you can write photo this one should be the normal font like nexa or whatever it is and making it more smaller like 48 actually this one is too much so 18 is good photography 
okay that's fine and selecting all the letters and increasing the gap between two letters actually that's fine okay and just giving here in the middle of the circle that's fine right press and create outline your logo is ready always i do prefer this one make the several version uh, it could be the white it could be the black otherwise you can't use it in your photography so how to make it out okay making it group making it bigger like this that's fine and making here the copy of this artboard that's cool and making it a little bit white like this okay so before making it white you have to uh, make this one that means the circle uh, like create outline or the outline go to the object and expand it when you are expanding this one this one is no longer the you know, stroke it will be like shape so i'm making it 10 pt is good i think actually 10 pt that's fine and going to the object and expand the appearances that means this one all are vectors now and uh, here this one is the stroke okay fine when you're making the stroke uh, that time you can't use the fill color for the fill it up all the stuff so making it group now now i can easily use the color like this so that's fine taking the background which is really black or blue or dark one okay sending it to back and using the blue color okay that's good you are getting the white one okay now you can use the gradient from here so making it either copy by pressing uh, like option button or alter button and dragging it up and here the artboard and select once it will get the artboard over here now i'll make the color more darker like this that's fine now i'll use the gradient so it could be the golden gradient so how to use the golden gradient from here going to the gradient and select the gradient like this making the light color into middle taking another one so making it like this color and this color and middle will be lighter one and you should make this one darker one that's fine this one is the golden and g for the gradient setup and making it golden like that so you're getting the golden if you want you can download the golden gradient or you can make the customized golden gradient properly uh, from here or you can use another gradient like this so i'm making another copy going to here and giving the color like pink and this color okay that's the good one you can make lots of version and now how you will use it out so how to use this one so if uh, you want to keep it in a white portion then you have to output or export the png file of the white portion so select this one export the selection only and now 300 ppi from here at the resolutions and png format and extract the asset so where you want to extract you have to choose at first the directory or the folder i'm just choosing export the asset and it will create another folder which is a 300 and if you want to just output or export the black one select and export selection and export and similarly this one and this one and now how you will put in your photography going to the photoshop and you can make it mock-up so how to mock-up i i'll provide you the mock-up download link in mock-up you will get the smart object over here sometimes it won't expand it like that here the small arrow key just click click and you will get the smart object over here double press and you will get the border over here the mock-up replace this one how to replace going to the file and place embedded options and find out the png format suppose the black one and making it bigger like this okay that's fine and now turn off the mock-up portion and control or command s now you're getting this one over here so this one is the mock-up and uh, 
the main thing is that how you will put in your photography going to the home and uh, it could be your photography any kind of photography suppose this one it could be your photography suppose i'm using this one for example and you want to put the photography logo over here or over there so going to the file and place embedded options you already uh, imported or uh, like exported the format which is the png format png means the uh, transparent background so making it smaller like this or you can use over here whatever or wherever you want if you need you can down the opacity like this it will be your logo and this one is a technique to make your photography or own photography logo and how to uh, save for your you know, like future purpose and um, how to put on your photography if you learned amazing from this tutorial please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you need to download the stocks and other stuffs please check out my video description until the next video i'm asmr signing out today stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers as well bye bye